The reason I chose to apply for the position in New South Wales Health was I'd worked in the um, roles that are on the ground, like juvenile justice, the Aboriginal Legal Service, Family Violence Unit, and I wanted to work in a position where um, decisions are made, like a bit higher up. The application process was pretty good. Um, there is a police check and sometimes that can be a bit daunting to some people. Um, at, if it does take a bit longer sometimes for a police check, but I was um, kept in contact. Um, the manager of, that, of this program kept ringing me and informed me that it was a process, you know, I'm still in the running for it, uh, don't be deterred by the time. So that was good because I think that's a barrier for a lot of people, the police check. So um, yeah, they really kept me informed and I felt um, engaged with them. Um, well, the selection criteria is um, a bit daunting in any position you, play, you apply for, I think. Um, but I just took it one step at a time and um, directed it to what I'd done in the past and um, things I've, I've knew about, done a bit of research and um, just did the best I could and that's all you can really do in, in these situations. And I think it's, um, you have to sell yourself. Yeah, so don't be afraid to sell yourself and um, yeah, and, and believe in yourself, I suppose, yeah. Uh, the recruitment process took about three months um, and that was from the time of submitting my application and the application's closing. Um, sometimes it's a bit longer because of the uh, police checks that have to be done but don't let that deter you because sometimes it takes a bit longer. Um, but with them, with the organisation and the manager keeping in touch with me and telling me that I was still in the running, they were still processing it. So that kept, that gave me faith, you know, that yeah, I was still in the running and it was a process and yeah, I hadn't been just dropped. <laughs> Working with New South Wales Health, uh, the team has been very welcoming, you know, everyone's there to help you. They all want you to succeed, um, so I found them very supportive. My working environment, I just, I love coming to work. I have a team of six in the youth health and wellbeing team. Um, all different nationalities, um, all different life experiences, and I've always had a passion of working with youth at risk, so I'm in the youth health and wellbeing team. And at the moment, uh, we're working on a pro. I've got my own project called Build Building the Bridge, and it's about connecting Aboriginal youth with health services. And we're actually developing a video resource to be sent out to AMSs and youth services across New South Wales. And my advice to anyone who's looking at getting into health, just to know that there's more positions than just nursing and doctors and people at the ground level, even though they are really good positions and well needed. Um, there's other positions too at a higher level and I think we need to have more Aboriginal people have a voice at a higher level where changes are made and decisions are made.